initially when we started seeing her, she would definitely be like attached to another cow, like where she was physically touching the other cow as she was moving. Um, and we figure that's how she trained herself as to what she was doing. If she doesn't have a cow right there with her, she'll extend her neck as far as she can and she'll use the tip of her nose to anything that's, you know, at head level. So like a gate or um, moving up to the parlor, she'll use her nose to figure out where she's going. Everything below that, she's, she's pretty entertaining. She, um, we have alley scrapers here that run underneath the whole time. She hears the alley scraper start and all of a sudden you'll see her start dancing and shuffling her feet because she's trying to figure out where that alley scraper is and how close it is to being underneath her. She's kind of earned her keep here and since she's earned her keep she's kind of become a favorite. You sympathize with her because she runs into gates every once in a while. That's how she got the nickname Ping Pong because it helps Ping to hear things. We all tend to talk more around her to kind of let her know where we're located and everything else. But you can get within, you know, this close to her and she won't even realize you're there until you say something or make a noise. So it kind of gives us this, this, you know, silly extra closeness with Ping and so she's developed herself as a favorite cow here, I think. And she does awesome. She gets up to the parlor, she milks, she's great. But during this research study, we also weigh cows. So she has to leave her pen and go the opposite direction, which <laughs> can get a little overwhelming for her. Usually we stick her with another cow and there's three or four of us weighing cows. So you're able to keep her moving. But yeah, she's just, she just goes with the flow and sticks her neck out to kind of know where she's supposed to be going and she's just a special cow. Mm -hmm.